Brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? Ladies and gentlemen, we do thank you very much for your attention. And now we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the takeoff. The captain has made tower communications available. So you all right? Hey, 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 you all right? What's good, y'all? This is Alfonso Rose reporting. So, Anthony Edwards, the face of the NBA? If anyone is indeed Michael Jordan's son, it's Anthony Edwards. Dude, screw Jimmy Butler and his gothic activity. Whoever started these Michael Jordan, Jimmy Butler's son rumors got too much time on their hands. Dude, pick up a book, dude. <laughs> you know, just physically pick up a book. Just, just, just physically. It takes steps. Baby steps. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And if you didn't, uh, tell me in the comments how skinny my peen is and all that stuff, all that jazz. Okay. <laughs> On to the video. Let's rewind the tape a bit. Because coming out of college, in a weak draft, by the way, it was touted as a weak draft, the 2020 NBA draft. And he wasn't the overall consensus number one overall pick. Like in every year, just like that one, like last year it was Wemby, obviously. But but there was a couple, like, you know, it was between James Wiseman and Edwards and uh, Lamella Ball. So I did some research, dude, because you know what I mean? Like I have no life, dude. <laughs> uh, the Dirty Bucket still hasn't thrived yet, but you know what it is, what it is. And I saw that Anthony Edwards had these common weaknesses coming out of the draft. People were saying, uh, that he was going to be like a horrendous, not even a horrendous, just an average three-point shooter. Average to below average three-point shooter. As he shot only 40% from the field in college in his last year. And 29%, 29% from three as a freshman. His, at times, poor shot selection and a high usage player. But the stat that I really take into account is that in college, he had 77% from the free throw line. Which I think is a great measure to see if... He can develop a shot while being in the NBA. He settles for way too many pull-up shots, uh, takes too many early jumpers in a shot clock. Um, I mean, everybody pretty much knew that he had elite athleticism. But the main thing that I kept seeing in his collegiate career that I, I kept seeing in every single report, dude, was that Anthony Edwards had quote unquote character concerns. Every kid who is 19 years old is a concern. They are menaces to society. Like, think about when you were 19 years old. All the buffoonery and debauchery that went through your temple. There was no intellectual activity up there. All you were thinking about was just fucking, I don't know, clapping cheeks and fucking, you know, saying, ooh, dude, you know. <laughs> You see, a person's judge of character stems from their culture and their normalities that they have, you know, gotten used to in their life. They, they, they've just gotten used to in encountering in their life, in my opinion, in my opinion. And anybody who doesn't really fit their normality or their culture is automatically deemed as a character concern. There's different dictions, different vocabularies in every single culture, dude. If, if that's the case, if that's the case, Jimmy Fallon is a character concern to me. He makes me feel uneasy. I, I don't understand the band. I think what the scouts need to do, and again, this is just my opinion, F all the freaking character concerns. Who cares about that? Does the player love the game? That's the most important thing. Does the player love the game? Because if the player loves the game, then he will do whatever it takes. Put the twerk in, put the time in. Shit, fuck put the time in to improve their game. Does the player love the game? Yes or no? Character concerns at the age of 19, they will develop, they will mature. So enough with the character concerns. But you know what? I find it funny though, because now those quote unquote character concern is now what's differentiating freaking Anthony Edwards from the likes of Tatum and Luca and the rest of them because Anthony Edwards is funny. Similar <laughs> spots beside you in the table. Where are you from, Jim? Ireland. 
I like your accent. It's tough. Well, I want to learn how to talk like that. But ask your question again. I was too much listening to your accent. Yeah, no problem. And uh, he, he is entertaining to watch. He's entertaining to listen. The man needs a podcast, dude. I, I, would subscri- I would subscribe to his Patreon. If Anthony Edwards had a freaking podcast, I would subscribe to his Patreon. I'm sorry for the rant. You know what I mean? I, I, I'll stop with this. Somebody slap me back into this report, please. Slap! Also, one thing I noticed is that the player comparisons that Anthony Edwards had coming out of college. He had Victor Oladipo, who, might I say, was actually a solid player in Indiana, but it was cut short. And I think it's fair to say that he has surpassed those comparisons. I mean, as a matter of fact, let's take a listen to some of the takes of some of these analysts that had to say on Anthony Edwards when he was drafted. His ability to attack the basket. When he decides to go to the rim, nobody is going to get in his way. He's going to go through somebody or over him. The, qu- the problem is he didn't go to the rim as much as he should have. He didn't shoot as many free throws. Offensively, he can really score. He just wasn't as efficient because he settled for a lot of three-point shots, a number of them contested. Uh, j- just really a-, a fantastic talent. The question is, is how serious is he going to be about being great? That, that, that's really the question about him because he's got all the tools to be great. Now, let's take a look at the 2020 NBA draft, which was deemed, again, as a weak class. Anthony Edwards, number one, all-star, all-NBA player. James Wiseman, um, uh, buffoonery, uh, Lame- LaMelo Ball, all-star player. Patrick Williams, Isaac Okoro. I felt really bad for Detroit, dude, because killing that, that pick pretty much casted erectile dysfunction all over Detroit, dude, because everybody is freaking sad in the press for drafting this kid. But also add in Tyrese Halliburton and Tyrese Maxey, who were also drafted later on in the draft. I mean, it turned out to be like a pretty solid draft. I mean, you have four all-stars by the time they reached their fourth season in the NBA. So let's take a look at Anthony Edwards' progression over the years. So right off the bat, I mean, he averaged 19.3 points as a rookie. I mean, he went 41% from the field, 33% from the three-point line. And then you can see the improvement. Because then he went to 21.3 points. But he also improved his three-point shot to damn near 36% and 44% for the field. Year three, more improvement. The three-pointer went to 37%. And then the field goal percentage went to 46. You know, I mean, he's come a long way from being, I guess, proclaimed as a below-average to average three-point shooter. And also taking up bad shots. Because look at him, he's... He's averaging down near 47% from the field. I mean, he is a very efficient player. I mean, and, and also those that 37% that he's averaging this year from the three, that's on 2.5 attempts per game. I mean, like, he is now a very respectable three point. You have to go over the screen for him. You can't go under. Just his overall impact in Minnesota as well. I mean, in his first four years in Minnesota, they made the playoffs three times. I mean, I'm counting this year. Three times. Albeit, they have been bounced in the first round, but it was against tough opponents. Last year, it was against the Nuggets, and the year before, it was against the Grizzlies. Because before the arrival of Ant-Man, the Timberwolves last made the playoffs in 2017-2018 season. And before that, you have to go back to frickin' 2003 when they last made the playoffs. So they've had a long-ass drought, 14 years of no playoffs. But you see, Cat, this is what a real franchise player does as an impact on their team oh i changed the game freaking cat dude so i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of carl anthony towns as you can see you know what i mean something is wrong with your game when you got grown men calling you cat kitty cat (laughs) i bet carl anthony towns purrs whenever you compliment his game be like (laughs) sorry i've been i've been cranky today I, i gotta stop anthony edwards Again, this is just my opinion. I could be wrong. I could be dead wrong. I think he's going to be the face of the league. As well as the likes of Tatum, Luka, Wemby. Wemby's up there. Wemby's going to give Anthony Edwards a ride for his money. Because his game, Anthony Edwards, his game calls for your attention. It is must-see TV. You feel like at any moment, you're going to be seeing the highlight of the year. Listen, in this channel, I like to give flowers when it's due. And right now, as of right now, presently, Anthony Edwards is headed in that track of being the face of the league. From being compared 
to Victor Oladipo to now being the face of the league. I mean, the previous faces of the league have been Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Steph Curry, and then now possibly Anthony Edwards. He has a clear shot in this year's playoffs. He does, again, I'm going to say it right now. The Timberwolves don't need to win the chip in order for Anthony Edwards to kind of like surpass himself in being the face of the league. The Western Conference is going to have a new face soon. Okay. Shy Gil just Alexander's up there. I mean, up there. He is there. You got to give Shy his props. Ant Man needs to surpass the first round. They need, to, they, need to, they need to win the first round. Okay. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I say if he makes it to the Western Conference Finals, we will be talking about Ant Man as the supreme, as the lock for the face of the league next year. My only discrepancy with Anthony Edwards. Yeah, yeah, he's been getting fish hooked by these freaking Mongols out there in Minnesota. Uh, Anthony Edwards, please, like, like, be like Prince. Be like Prince. Keep your deviant self under the wraps. When in doubt, pinky out. So let me know in the comments, am I wrong for thinking that Ant-Man has heavily surpassed his expectations when he first joined the league? Am I wrong? I could be wrong, duck. I could be buffoon. I could be 19 years old. <laughs> I'm not 19. <laughs> I'm freaking 30, headed to 31, dude. Washing it old person. Patrick, that's not fun. It is for me. This is your favorite NBA journalist speaking, or probably least favorite. Uh, I'll see you on the next reports. Peace, y'all.